Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. Android Nougat's successor has just arrived and it is named as Android O. Google has just released the first developer preview of Android O for the developers and the final build is coming in the third quarter of 2017 and most probably this version of Android is going to be called Android 8.0. Now as we know this is going to be the next major update of Android so here are 10 most interesting changes and newly added features that Android O brings to the table. Excited? So let's get started. First, New Simplified Settings The major cosmetic change in Android O is the new simplified setting menu. This is strongly focuses on simplicity and now the menus are more sorted. There is no longer any slide out menu and the categories on the main page of the settings. There are 13 main headings with short description of what's inside. Further, if we go inside the setting menu, some of the categories have also received design refreshes including battery. The overall color scheme has a black and white approach with blue essence and personally, I like this redesign setting menu. Second, App Badges Finally, Android O brings the support for App Badges and maybe some of the viewers don't know what an App Badge is. So let me explain you that. An App Badge is basically a number bubble which will pop up over your icon every time you receive a new notification to show your unread notification counts. For instance, if you got a message on your WhatsApp and you didn't read that message yet, then that message will pop up as an app badge to notify that you have one unread WhatsApp message. This will basically help you out with the notification management to make things simpler. Third, Navigation Bar Tuner Next up is the Navigation Bar which receives a new layout option. If you go through the System UI Tuner, you will find a new Navigation Bar option which lets you tweak the layout of your on-screen navigation buttons. Here you will find layout option that lets you choose between normal, compact, left-leaning and right-leaning which will comes in handy if you want to use your device single-handed. Now you also have the option to add extra left and right buttons on your navigation bars and you can choose from several options like clipboard, key code and keyboard switcher. Fourth, Lock Screen The lock screen of Android O looks quite similar to Android Nougat in terms of design. But don't go with the looks because there are features buried inside the system UI tuner. In the previous versions of Android, users are not allowed to change the lock screen shortcuts but not anymore. With Android O, now you can choose the shortcut according to your liking. This feature lets you choose either an app or a setting shortcut to show up in the lock screen. Fifth, Improved Audio Quality Nowadays 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as the major smartphone manufacturers are getting rid of it and focusing more towards wireless audio. And that's the reason why Google is working with Sony to get the LDAC codec in Android O. It means if you have a Bluetooth headphone that supports LDAC then you will get a much improved audio output. Not only LDAC, Android O also supports other codec like SBC, AAC, APTX and APTX HD. Additionally, there are also options for sample rates, bit per samples and channel mode. Sixth, Unknown Sources Until Android N, if we want to install any APK file, then in order to install it, first we have to enable the unknown sources. But in Android O, this option has been removed, but it doesn't mean that we cannot install APK files. Now in Android O, if you want to install an APK file, then you will need to authorize each sources separately. For instance, you have to download an app using Chrome browser. Now after downloading the app, when you click to install that app, you will be prompted as Application installed from external sources are blocked. So to install that app, click on external sources. Now select Chrome and enable trusted apps for the sources and you are good to go. 7th Notification Channel Android O focuses more towards notification management and that's why they added a new feature called Notification Channel. This feature lets you choose between less useful and more useful notification for a specific app. For instance, this feature could be handy with filtering notifications from certain conversations in messaging app. To access this, head over to the app notification and select the app for which you want to enable this. 
Now click on miscellaneous and here you will see lots of options regarding notifications. You can choose from options like no sound or visual interruption, show silently, make sound and pop up on a screen and many more. 8. New battery menu If we go through the setting menu then battery, here you will see that the battery menu has received a major redesign and personally I liked it. This time I think the options are more sorted and the best thing that I like is the simple representation of statistics for screen usage, screen consumption and mobile network. Now you can easily keep track of battery usage of your device. 9th Snooze Notifications As I mentioned earlier that Android O focuses more towards notification management, so here is another feature that has been introduced in Android O and by using this, you can snooze the notifications. For instance, you got a WhatsApp message and you want to read that later on, so just swipe the notification to right and tap this clock icon to snooze the notifications. This will make the message go away for 15 minutes then come right back when the time is up. You can also change the snooze length right after you have snoozed a notification. 10th Notification Shade When you swipe down the notification shade, you will see the first visual change in Android O. The stripe of 6 toggle at the top of the notification shade now takes up a little more space on screen and there is a little reordering of the toggles in Android O. You can also see that your current network status, Wi-Fi status and battery status are neatly shown at the top of the notification shade right next to the setting shortcut. At the left I am holding OnePlus 3T which is running on Android Nougat 7.1.1 and you can clearly see the difference. So guys these are the 10 features and changes in Android O. If you think we have missed any feature or changes then do let us know that in the comment section. And if you like this video and find it useful then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.